Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are about to have the Wednesday content drop with the Wolfsburg SBC, new team of the week, and whatever else content EA decides to drop today. So that's going to be dropping in just a second. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this new content for today and look at the market a little bit because, again, there are some stuff that I still think is investable for like a Thursday flipping scenario after rewards. So we'll take a look at that today, maybe a second look at some stuff that's already been inflated as well. But it is 6 p.m. UK, 1 p.m. Eastern, and our SBC is Joao Victor. So that is not Mbabu, which is kind of what we were thinking we might get. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills, a striker. This better be like an 83 rated squad because, I mean, yeah, this is a, a kind of a decent looking card, kind of fun. If it's cheap, people might be interested. Brazilian that is in the Bundesliga with that four-star skill, five-star weak foot. Agility is pretty good. Finishing, attack positioning is solid. Not a terrible card, but if this is more than one squad or, wow, an 82 and an 85, man. I still feel like it's a bit much for this card. This needs to be like an 83 rated squad in my opinion. Uh, so after yesterday with the Awar and the Capo that came out, Awar was, I think, priced pretty well. And, and now we have the Joao Victor SBC that does not seem in incredibly good value to me. Um, maybe I'm a little bit bummed with that one if I'm being completely honest. Now we did get another, did we get more icons by chance? I'm not seeing any new icons. That's an 86 plus that's still there. I think that was our only content for today in terms of new SBCs, uh, unless I'm missing something, but I think that is it. I'll check icons just to make sure, but I think that Joao Victor is the only one that came out today. Yes, so the same icons are still there. They expire in two days. Now, we do have a team of the week that just came out as well, and let's take a look at this. Teo Hernandez, Kempembe, Jordan Henderson gets in for the Liverpool team of the week. McTominay gets in with a CDM card. A lot of people were looking forward to that one. Uh, who else is in here? Suarez, of course, was confirmed as the ones to watch already. Benzema, Lewandowski, Teo Hernandez with an 86 rated card. Uh, Jared Moreno, Stindl. Morata gets in. Illicic with a right forward card. That is going to be uh, a good SPC fodder investment at some point. Uh, McTominay looks solid though for an 82 CDM. I know he's kind of hidden right now on the screen, but that's a solid looking card. We'll go check him out on the market in a second. Kempembe is going to make some waves. Teo Hernandez is going to make some waves as well. That's not a terrible team of the week. I mean, you have Lewandowski in there. It's better than last week, I think. Last week's team of the week was so, so bad. But um, yeah, that was last week's team of the week was really, really bad. So let's take a look at that McTominay because I know uh, a lot of people were thinking that McTominay was going to get an in for him, and indeed he did. Now, my question right now is, since Jordan Henderson got into Team of the Week, what is going to be the deal uh, with Firmino? Because a lot of people thought Firmino was going to get into Team of the Week. This card looks pretty solid, man. Uh, maybe you throw an engine on him if you're going to play him at CDM, or uh, maybe a shadow, I guess, with the pace and with the defending. But his defending stats, he's a 79 overall, but those are really solid, well-rounded. If this guy would get a second in form, I think he'd look pretty good. So I think this card obviously should be around a pretty cheap 23K. Um, you know, it should be a pretty cheap in form, but I think some people are going to be interested in using that. Now, of course, uh, as I was mentioning, we did not get Firmino today. So um, I think that is leading some people to speculate that we could see a Firmino SBC tomorrow on Thursday because uh, I think that center mid Liverpool player was the next freeze SBC we'll be getting tomorrow on Thursday. So maybe if Bobby Firmino did not get in this team of the week, that means that he could be getting the center mid SBC tomorrow. I think that's uh, a lot of people are maybe thinking about that possibility. Uh, and I didn't check objectives, but I, I don't think there's any objectives, right? I'm not seeing anything new in objectives. We have Kappa. Oh, we have a Silver Stars. Atlanta United right back. Wow. Okay. Uh, a wow, dude, that's actually a kind of cool card, man. Can I get some in-game stats for this, please? Can I get some in-game stats for this new silver star? That's actually kind of dope. Um, Jurgen, Jurgen Dam is the guy's name. Jurgen Dam. Now, of course, his card actually isn't loaded into Footbin yet, but this is his normal card. Uh, he's a, normally a right mid Atlanta United. His pace did not get upgraded. He went down in shooting, up ten passing, up ten physical up 22 defense and up nine dribbling. So that's kind of interesting as a uh, Silver Stars reward player for this week in the team of the week. Not too bad. A little MLS action 
uh, for, I think the milestone for MLS didn't have a left back, did it? You had a center attacking mid, uh, you had the left back Lima, and you had the center back long. So if you needed another or a right back for your MLS back line, uh, then boom, you got this guy as well as an objective. So that's not too terrible. No new foot freeze cards uh, are out there either. So that looks like the content for today. Let me take a look at some of these new team of the week cards really fast and see uh, where they are looking at right now. Um, oh, one thing I do want to say is Gareth Bale actually just scored in the, the, the cup or Spurs. Uh, so this Bale card, I think, is rising a lot right now. So I don't know like how how high it's going. He Oh, wow. Footman said he was 60K. He's now 70,000 coins. Because if Bale, they could give man of the match items for the cup games that are happening today. So that is one thing to kind of keep in mind is that there could be, that there could be um, man of the match cards for this. So yeah, I think in general for today, the team of the week is okay, but this SBC content, it just kind of sucks, man. The Joao Victor is really not there, right? It's really not there at the price point. Uh, yesterday we had a good day with Awar, of course, and now today we go with this. I see some people on Twitter comparing this to like the Luca Bacchio, uh, Lu Luca Bacchio SBC of last year that was just very overpriced for the Bundesliga striker. Uh, I think now, honestly, if you really want this guy and you want a card collect, you could probably craft him. You could probably craft him through upgrades, and that would be a way you could get the card like through 81 to 87s. So you do some of those, use some stuff in the club, might be a decent collector's item, but I just think that's a little bit overpriced. The big SBC though, I think is going to be tomorrow with the, um, with the center mid from Liverpool SBC. If that is Firmino or whoever that may be, um, that could be that could be a fun card. That could be an interesting card and a lot more hyped uh, than what is out right now. So just to check again, our daily SBC, the foot freeze challenge, that one is 23 hours remaining. Uh, this is the new one, a rare Electrum players pack. So we got tradable, I think we got tradable supply today. Is that correct? Maybe not. Maybe it's this one, Foot Freeze Challenge. Uh, that's untradeable. So maybe, no, that rare electron was from yesterday. The untradeable one is from today. So let's take a look. Since we're not getting tradable pack supply on the market, um, let's take a peek. Some of these Road to the Final 2 cards have dropped off a bit in the last day or so. Alaba right now, 439,000 coins. I actually bought one last night at 440 and I was able to flip it at 470 because these guys are fluctuating yesterday after the Awar SBC there was some panic, uh, and some of it has rebounded. Pogba was down. He's still down, um, but they did rebound a little bit last night. I wouldn't expect those guys to take a big hit until rewards. When rewards do come, I think these guys might be something that you want to look at possibly buying for like a Thursday flip, uh, kind of like how when the new team of the week comes out at rewards, they get supplied and then bounce back. Um, I think you could see that this week as well. This Teo Hernandez is probably going to be an interesting one for this week's team of the week. Is Lewandowski actually extinct or is the price range messed up? 500K for a 93 level that has plus one pace and minus one dribbling on the player of the month. And the player of the month is 460K. So I would think this 93 level would probably be on the range of this other one um, since he already has a card that is out in the game. But uh, that is interesting to me that he's extinct at 500K right off the bat. Now, I'm going to be curious to see this Kempembe card because I think a lot of people will be interested in him. But again, talking Thursday flips, right? Some of these freeze cards rebounded. Mane yesterday was 1.95. He's back to 2.12. Verano Silva is still a little bit low. And then this is the really interesting thing from today, man. Casemiro, for some reason, EA just uh, destroyed Casemiro's price range. And they, they moved his price range to 380K, which has made him extinct because that's like right around where his cards card price was. So I think earlier this morning, he went extinct at 380. I'm not entirely sure what EA is doing there. So if you have this Casemiro, I would not sell him. If you want to snipe him, I guess you could. Um, but that's a pretty popular card. And the fact that he's like down like that is kind of weird. Um, Paul Pugba right now is getting panic sold. What am I seeing? What is this? Why? What? Is, are people really panic selling Pogba or was that a footbin undercut? Footbin has this guy right now at 390. On on uh, 390 is what Footbin has this Pogba at. That's ridiculous. That should not be happening. If people were actually panic selling Pogba because of McTominay, that's ridiculous. But 
Um, yeah, so just kind of watch out today. There's probably, there is some stuff I'm seeing that was maybe panic sold a little bit into the 6 p.m. UK time frame. Now, again, if you want to try to buy some cards that might link to the new SBC player tomorrow, maybe this Trent Alexander-Arnold might not be a bad shout, right? We talked about Salah yesterday. His gold card possibly is in for him. Depending on who the SBC is tomorrow, if it's a really good value player from Liverpool that a lot of people would want to throw in their squads, again, it's Premier League. Um, if it's Firmino, it could be Brazilian. Um, so there's a lot of options with that Liverpool player coming tomorrow on Thursday. You might want to look into maybe some Thursday flips, maybe even like Jota. I don't think they would give Alexander Arnold or Jota a center mid position change just because they both have these team in the group stage cards. I guess it's possible. Um, now you're seeing this Teo Hernandez take a dip in price as well because the new one has come out. Plus one, he's got plus one pace, plus two shooting, plus two defense on the Europa League team of the tournament item. So we'll, we'll keep a watch on this item too because a lot of times what you see is the lower tier items uh, sometimes bounce back a lot. This guy, this guy is down like 30, 40,000 coins. Uh, but he, there's a potential for this card to bounce back if this team of the week card stays at like 350, 400,000 coins. Right now it's like six, 600K. So that's something you, you could watch tonight uh, with a price fluctuation as well. Where's my Griezmann in format? 118 for the Griezmann in form. That's not really down that much. Um, Mbappe to four, one. Yeah, so this stuff is kind of chilling the same. Now, these new um, these new cards, right? Chiellini, where'd they go? Chiellini, uh, Goosens. These guys rebounded last night really nicely, actually. I don't know if any of you guys bought into this. Even Dembele um, rebounded pretty nicely as well. Usman Dembele went from like 1-6, 1 155 1 all the way back up to almost 1-7, which according to, to uh, Flippin right now, and actually the game as well, he is 1.685 mil. So he rebounded a decent amount. Chiellini was like 240. He's back to 280, 290. Uh, Goosens was like 70, 80K, I think. He's 100. And then the Alex Moreno card uh, rebounded as well. So a lot of these new foot freeze items, I think they're going to get hit with pack supply from rewards today. So if you have any of these, if you're trying any of them out, I would be very, very careful with them. Be very, very careful with them. And I guess what you could look for as well is I don't think the Joao Victor card's really going to cause a lot of movements with Bundesliga strikers. Um, but if there's other players out there. I, I almost said Timo Werner. That is not a Bundesliga striker, but if like any of Holland's, I know Holland has a team of the, he's got a team of the group stage item and he's got a player of the month that is out right now. Uh, but if like this card dropped off a bunch today, uh, which I don't think is happening, but I'll take a check just to make sure. But if a guy like this dropped off a bunch today, um, since this guy's 150,000 coins, which there is a, a few undercuts right now, um, he was 140 earlier in the week, so he's bounced back a bit. And this is his next best, best card other than his uh, player of the month, which is a 300k SBC. So just keep an eye on some of this stuff. You know, open bids on a card like this still could be a decent look. Like, boom, 130 right there. I would love that card for 130k. This is the kind of stuff that you can be doing on the market right now. Since it is a lot quieter, it's a lot more, I guess you could say dead, right? Um, you might be able to get on some open bids and stuff like that and make some profit on just quick flips with some of this stuff uh, in the game at the moment. Is Am I really going to win this for 130? The guy's literally selling right now for 145 to 150. If I can win this bid, that'd be a perfect little open bid flip right there. Am I going to get outbid at the last second? Dude, let's freaking go, man. We Nice little cheeky open bid on a Holland. I'll take that at 130. And I'll relist that at like 147 probably for pro hopefully a quick sale. And then uh, we'll we'll make our coins on that card right there. Now, the next thing I want to do after I list this Holland up is actually um, I want to go on to the market and look at some cards that are already inflated. I have two in mind already. And those two guys are rule breakers. Benjamin Andre. Now, I talked about a lot of French cards. Right, I talked about a lot of French cards yesterday in the Thursday flipping video. This guy was 50k yesterday, man. 50,000 coins. Our came out. People started buying these cards to link invest. Right now, this guy 55k, a couple undercuts right now. Uh, he was at like almost 60k earlier today. Some of these rule breakers that are like this Andre and Kamara. These two guys are like two of the most popular players that people buy every week to like Thursday flip. You can honestly buy these two guys every single week for Thursday flips and you'll make some coins. It's ridiculous, right? It's, it's literally crazy. 
Now, uh, Douglas Costa is probably rebounding with a link to that Joao Victor. Um, but even though, uh, since the SBC is very overpriced, like this guy was 320K last night, I believe. Yeah, he's really, he was 321 this morning. Uh, and it looks like he's just now peaked up because of the link. So I would probably sell this into the hype if you've got him because nobody's doing that uh, Joao Victor SBC or not many people are. But again, a lot of these French cards have risen up and this is an example of one. So if you're still looking around for some Thursday flips, just be careful, right? Because as you can see, Tuesday, 49,000 coins in the morning. Today on Wednesday, he was still 55K. He hit a peak of almost 60. And then same thing with Kamara as well. He was also pretty cheap yesterday and has rebounded a lot. So just make sure that you double check your cards that you're going to buy. Make sure they're not already inflated. Um, I kind of like, if I had to pick one of these two guys, I think I would like Kamara a little bit better. 55K. Um, actually, no, maybe, maybe I would like Benjamin Andre a little bit because um, only problem with that is maybe people replacing this card with Awar. But again, if you still find low 50s for this, I expect it to be back up to 60K tonight um, for some of those cards that are maybe getting a little bit of selling after the initial investment happened. Um, another guy I wanted to look at was Bruno uh, Fernandez because he gets a nice little link to the McTominay card. A lot of people are going to get McTominay red, all right? That's one thing to keep in mind. So a guy like Gold Rashford, 390 right now for this is not a terrible price at all. I'm going to add this because the cheeky open bid. Uh, even a guy like Gold Rashford would be a card to watch this week. I know he was in some people's Team of the Week predictions, and we maybe talked about him last night on the YouTube video, um, but he's been kind of chilling around the 110 range, like the 115, 114. Uh, yeah, this is interesting to me because of McTominay. I would keep your eyes open on this. I don't think he'll get packed um, that much at rewards, and this is a card that people buy every week for their teams because this is a very, very meta card this year. So keep an eye on McTominay. A lot of, or sorry, keep an eye on Rashford because a lot of people will get McTominay red and look to link him to Rashford as they're running a cheap team in this time of the year where there's a lot of people running untradeable squads. As we're headed into, um, as we're headed into team of the year, and a lot of people are more focused on that uh, and not losing coins so that's kind of the video for today boys new team of the week it's a-ok -okay in my opinion thursday flip investments there's still a lot of buys out there you're probably going to see some stuff rising into the nighttime tonight um because of people going out and uh and doing um their thursday flip investing right now one thing i do want to check on right now is this Lewandowski. uh the Lewandowski new inform card is on the market and footbin has him at 300 that's interesting. 335 for this Lewandowski. It's almost got the same stats as the player of the month. And the player of the month SBC is 460,000 coins. So that is very interesting to me that this card is so much cheaper than the player of the month. Now, the only problem is 92 Lewandowski is only 133K. So that tells me that the player of the month is being overvalued right now. I would not look at this Lewandowski until he was less than double the price of the 92 uh, that is already out in packs. But this one's got 81 pace. People like a fast Lewandowski because you need pace in this game. So keep an eye on all that stuff today. Good luck with your Thursday flip investments. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.